All right, before we get started with our first riffs, I want to say a few things about this particular tape. This guy, uh, Kurt Cobain, he used a lot of gadgets um, that I've read about, and, and you can read about them in a lot of guitar player magazines and stuff, especially since he passed away. Uh, but it's not very important. The main effect we're going to be using is a pedal chorus, and it's used on most of the distortion stuff. I don't want to get tied up in all that stuff because you can get lost in all that junk. Um, he used pretty cheap stuff that you can get pretty much anywhere. He used to play a Fender Jaguar, which I used to have and got stolen from me. I wish I hadn't. It was a 65, really nice guitar. Uh, he was left-handed, obviously. Um, he wasn't a very good guitarist. Uh, what he was was a great songwriter, okay? Uh, and he used the guitar to convey his songs and get his words out. And, and, uh, and he used the guitar as a tool to get the songs done. You know, he wasn't Eddie Van Halen. He wasn't trying to be and didn't care. Um, of all the Seattle guys that came out of this whole era, which crushed what I was doing when I put my album out, I was with a band called Bangalore Choir, and we were doing that corporate rock thing, and my hair was all puffed out, and I was really cool looking, right, and makeup and all that crap. And uh, they crushed that because it was honest, it was uh, meant for themselves. If you write songs for yourselves, uh, most of the time what will happen is they come out sounding good or unique. Uh, now, he's not extremely unique, this guy, Kurt wasn't. He's got a lot of influences that I hear, the, a lot of the Beatles in him, a lot of, uh, there's, a, there's some police in him, uh, and there's some Black Sabbath in there. Um, but the main thing I want to convey to you about him is that uh, his melodies were extremely good, his songwriting was extremely good, his hook lines were extremely good, whether he meant them to be or not, uh, I don't know. Um, and... Uh, like I said, as a guitarist, he wasn't very good, but he didn't care. And uh, what came across to me is that of all the Seattle bands, or the main three, there's like Pearl Jam, uh, Nirvana, and, uh, and the other one, Soundgarden. This guy was the best of them all. He started the whole thing because he came out and made it popular first, but this guy was the best of them all. This guy was the most tied up in songs, and as far as I'm concerned, had the best sense of melody. He also had a great... Uh, rock singing voice, man, which, you know, I don't know if he even gave himself credit for, but his voice was great. You can't buy a voice no matter what you do. You can learn to play the guitar all you want, but you can't buy a singing voice. His was incredibly good. Too bad he's gone. Really too bad he's gone, because it was a stupid thing to do. And, uh, and it's a shame, because there was a lot more songs than him, you can just tell.